Welcome to Quiplash. If you experience any dizziness while playing, you probably won't do very well. Okay, fair warning. I reserve the right to repurpose your quips for my improv set later on tonight. Here's round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious, or not, for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Almost out of time! Use the safety quip button if you have to! Let's see what we're working with. Our first prompt is... The title of a cookbook written by a cowboy. Okay, pick your favorite quip now! Batman's secret identity, but the biggest secret he keeps is blank. Get to voting! Moving on, how does Adele come up with those great songs? Ready, set, vote! Oh, 
up next, after killing Hitler, the second thing you would do with a time machine. It's voting time. That's it for round one. Let's bring up the scoreboard. <laughs> round two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. Let's see those quips. Starting us off, in your opinion, scientists should be working around the clock to clone blank. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Coming up next, never take a first date to a blank. Vote now. <laughs> and next is... Life hack, if you don't have a wine rack, simply use a blank. Time to vote. in line. What's that smell? Put in your votes. That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went.
It's round three, the last lash. I've got one prompt left, and you're all getting it. Come up with the phrase this acronym stands for. All right, brace yourselves. In this round, you've got two medals to give to your two favorite quips. Choose wisely. Okay, let's bring out those medals. Here's the silver. And finally, gold. Let's sell off those medals for points. That's the game. Let's see the final scores. To TKO. I am the Tournament Master. If you're wondering what I look like, think young Patrick Dempsey. We've arrived at Scenic T Shirt Island, home of the TKO Tournament, and also home of the BVT Burger. Ask Port by name.
every epic tale starts somewhere, yours begins here at the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. You may draw anything that pleases you. If you need an idea, use the suggestion button. I promise I'm not judging you. Yet. Get your drawing fingers wiggling. It's time to draw. Time goes short, hurry up and finish already! Interesting, I get what you were going for with these, but this time I want to see more colors. On to drawing number two! Only seconds remain! Last drawing, let's get weird with it! Begin!
Whatever's not for decoration, finish quickly! You show promise, most of you. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. The kind of things you might see on, oh, I don't know, a t-shirt. And don't let hubris consume you. Use a suggestion if you need one. Go! I'm looking for like three or four from each of you. Does that seem doable? Just give it a shot. Make haste before time runs out! Nice hustle, let's find out if it was worth it. The time for training is over. Have a look at your device. The fates have blessed you with a series of pictures and slogans. Select one of each to create your t-shirt champion. I don't want to pressure you, but a lot is riding on this. My yes. The time is nigh. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet one. Versus. Fight. And by fight, I mean enter your votes on your device. A new challenger appears. Fine. Fight.
you winners look good. This feels like a good time for a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Hey, try not to screw this up, okay? Go! Now right! Only seconds remain. As we approach the second gauntlet, the cruel winds of chance have switched around your drawings and slogans. Create your deadly t-shirt warrior. I've got a good feeling about this batch. Gauntlet 2 Versus Fight for me, baby. Fight! Challenger appears. Engage one another in violence. Versus.
The reigning champion wins ties. Next time, get more votes. <laughs> Winner! The final gauntlet is here, and only the best shirts from the previous rounds remain. The tournament ends here. Versus... Attack! The tie goes to the defender. <laughs> we have a champion. Boy, that was fun, you guys. Yeah, we should do this more often. Trivia Night.
A dark, dark reckoning. But it's also the feel-good trivia fun time hit of the summer. You'll love it. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you can always be in the audience, it's just as deadly. Oh my goodness, will you listen to me? Going on and on with the voices of the birds that tell me what to do. Let's get to the game already! Okay now, first question. Now for a question about my favorite supplier of fishing waders. What does the LL stand for in LL Bean? Use your device to answer the question. The correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Prepare for your punishment! Welcome to the killing floor! We're going to play the finger cutting game! This one's a little ooky! Just choose one of your fingers to cut off! It's real cut and dry! Get it? Get to cutting! <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, you have to live with the consequences, but still. It's early, but here are your scores. But don't get too high or too low, because you're all doomed, remember? Alright, next question. The Magic Flute is an opera by which composer? ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's the best Bill Murray movie? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go bad, bad doggy. Look at what you did. No. The votes are in. Maybe your writing will be better appreciated after you're dead. Which looks like it's gonna be really, really soon. No! And... you're dead. But don't worry, ghosts love trivia party games, so you're still in this. You haven't lost or anything. Never underestimate a ghost, son. Here's how all the scores are looking. I've got more questions for you. Puff the Magic Dragon lives in which land? <laughs> Who 
said... This one? The rest of you who are still alive, I want to show you something. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. <laughs> and done. Speaking of memories, I can never remember the difference between an alpaca and a llama. Llamas are smaller and have shorter ears, right? Oh wait, I think I just got that backwards. Or did I? I, I honestly don't know. See what I mean? Alright, let's see how you'll do. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? And for last place, I've got something you won't forget. Death. Which I guess you would forget, because you're dead. And looky looky, here's the pattern. How did you do? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. I feel like I should make t-shirts or something. Would people buy those? Or hats, maybe. I'll think about it. Here's another one. Oh boy, did I learn this one at the expense of some Capri pants. What water temperature should you use to wash clothes that have bloodstains? The answer is... this. Lame. How about this? What was the name of the business in the British version of The Office? Correct answer is this. Let's play a game. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. Eight. Now I need a little help from a safe player. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice is yours. That's an aggressive move, and I endorse it. Roll lower than me or you die. <gasps> yes! Oh, it feels so good! <laughs> oh look! Only one player left. Perfect. Congrats on making it here alive! Now let's see if you can escape with your body! I'm going to give you a category. Fruit. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If the ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. That was too easy. Here's another one. A song on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. is gonna get ya! Can you stay out of the shadows? Red wine.
are gonna wait fast. Man, what three numbers? Only way. Call of Duty titles. Another life swap. European capitals. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. I was helping someone load his van. He threw me in, now here I am. Cold and afraid Where a deadly trivia game is played Though it's dark I can kind of see There are others trapped down here with me We're all dreading what he'll carry out we 
be a murder party And I'm your crazy host You better answer carefully Or be turned into a ghost There's no point in your running You probably won't survive But maybe if your luck holds out You'll get out of here alive <laughs> Beg and plead and beg some more But he drags me onto the killing floor Well, there's nowhere out that I can find And there's a pack of ghosts that's right behind It's a trivia murder party And I'm your crazy host You better Carefully or be turned into a ghost There's no point in you running You probably won't survive But maybe if your luck holds out You'll get out of here alive Will I survive? Only time will tell Meanwhile, I try not dying Inside this game show hell Reminder to all agents that once you attach a piece of surveillance equipment below your waist, you are free to keep it or burn it. Please do not return it to my desk. Attention field agents. The following nicknames have already been taken. Falcon. Viper, Little Pumpkin, Mima, Sleepy Pete, Goober, Terry Gross, Cargo Shorts, Chumba Wumba, Spider, Spider with a Y, Clumpy, Demogorgon, the Dark Overlord, and Jonathan. Thank you for listening. Hello. Hey Dave, it's Brian. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. <laughs> Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 nanoseconds. Uppercase N, and then lowercase E, smiley face, frowny face, laughing out loud face, and registered trademark sign. That'll work. Hey, Dimitri, you watch The Americans? Um, yes, every day. That show is nuts. All the makeup and wigs and their whole wardrobe is crazy, right? I don't know. I look at metadata. I don't know from wigs and makeup. No, Dimitri, I, I know you watch Americans. I'm talking about The Americans on TV. One. There is always a... Thanks to our extensive network of surveillance cameras, we can see everything going on in the world. Did you know that Brad Pitt eats a full loaf of bread every morning? The government uses this information for whatever, but we use it to play... Espionage! Off we go! Okay, who's first? I hear you. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro Nest? Ooh, I know!
What percentage of people have spare keys hidden somewhere outside their homes? Make it a good guess. You'll get more points the closer your guess is to the actual percentage. We have an answer. 79%. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Everyone is saying lower. And the correct answer is... 18%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. So, who picked lower? Well done, you get points. Okay, who's up next? Uh, I don't know, how about... What percentage of people have vaped? You're almost out of time. 60%. Okay, higher or lower? One of you thinks it's higher. Okay, right answer is... 32%! Apparently it's what the cool kids are doing. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Next up... Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of pedestrians can pose text messages while walking? Thirty percent. Okay, higher or lower? Everyone says higher. And Surveil says... 64%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Who's next? Oh, this is gonna be good. What percentage of people are bigger fans of Star Trek than Star Wars? Any time now. 19%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Only one of you thinks it's higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 31%! Suck it, Gene Roddenberry! And rest in peace. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! Let's see where things stand after round one. Time for round two. Who's up first? Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people would choose Morgan Freeman over James Earl Jones to narrate their lives?
Okay, we have a guess. 74%. In round two, you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. Everyone says higher except for one of you. And the correct answer is... 68%! In our faked focus group, we also had some votes for Frank Caliendo's version of Morgan Freeman. Ah, that's too bad. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Next up... Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people have high school senior photos that show themselves in or beside their cars? Twenty-five percent. Everyone pick, higher or lower. I hear you. What do you think, higher or lower? People are saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Well, me neither, then. Is this thing broken? No, you were all just wrong. Okay, who's up next? I'm going to search for... What percentage of people usually fold triangular slices of pizza before biting into them? 50%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Lower across the board. Okay, let's see the right answer. 11%! You gotta be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Sorry, not sorry. Who got it right? Here's some points. And what have we here? Well done. Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people have taken vacation photos of their feet? 6% What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. It's unanimous again! And Surveil says... 36%! Ah, I've seen worse guesses. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. It's time for the final round. Through totally legal means, we found the most popular answers to this question. What Halloween candy would people most likely steal from a kid's stash? Let's see what we have. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Ready, go!
right, let's see what everyone picked. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. Who's gonna get the gold star? Who is it, boy? Who is it? It's... Wow, you have some serious knowledge of people's private personal lives. Well done.